This is the Domino's Pizza NFL Live Halftime Report, brought to you by Domino's Pizza. When it's got to be good and it's got to be now, it's got to be, got to be Domino's. It's been a while since things were this fun around the National Football League. Seven early games today. Six of them were barn burners. One went to overtime. Let's begin with the big AFC game of the day. San Diego beating Kansas City 14-13 at Arrowhead Stadium. Chiefs were nursing a 13-7 lead. Joe Montana's pass off Lake Dawson's hands into those of Darren Carrington, who returns 19 yards to the 8-yard line. Three plays later, Stan Humphreys to wide open Dwayne Young. Five yards and a touchdown. And the Chargers take the lead 14-13. Montana took the Chiefs into field goal range, but with no timeouts left, his spike to stop the clock came just too late. Time runs out on the Chiefs. The Chargers win at 14-13. San Diego goes to 6-1 and one in their division and 8-2 and two on the year. The Chiefs fall to 6-4. and four. At Joe Robbie Stadium in Miami, the Dolphins hosting and losing to the Chicago Bears 17-14. Bears line up for an apparent field goal attempt. The ball is snapped to Curtis Conway, a wide receiver who scrambles, throws, cross field watch it tipped into the hands of Keith Jennings who takes it in for a 23 yard touchdown the Bears led seven to three seven seconds left Pete Stoyanovich tries to tie from 46 yards out it is blocked by James Williams the Bears hold on to win it by three Jim Gray talked with Conway yeah well um I was just trying to make something happen. I mean, I was supposed to try to run it in, but I mean, Miami did a good job of, you know, covering it. And um, I was just trying to make something happen. I looked over there and I seen two of, two of our big guys over there. And I said, hell, you know, just try to make something happen with it and threw it up. They're going to want to make you a quarterback now. Another quarterback controversy? <laughs> no, nah, them days is over. High school days, them days is over. <laughs> Curtis, congratulations. The Bears get out of Miami with a big victory. That's the story from here at Joe Robbie. Greg? All right, Jim, so the Bears go to 6-4 and four on the year. Steve Walsh, 5-0 and oh, as a starting quarterback for the Bears. In Philadelphia, the Browns crushed the Eagles today, 26-7, to seven, to move to 8-2 and two on the year. Eagles lost linebacker Byron Evans with a broken right leg for the season. Mark Rippon starting at quarterback for Cleveland, hits Mark Carrier for a three-yard touchdown, and Vinny Testaverde was doing the cheerleading today. The Eagles, Randall Cunningham loses as a starting quarterback for the first time in his last 21 starts. The Eagles are 7-3 after losing 26-7. In Foxborough, the Patriots fell behind early, came back to win in overtime against Minnesota, 26-20. Enthusiastic Patriot fans, I suppose. Warren Moon in the second quarter, Minnesota up 10-0, and he's looking for more. Quadri Ismail, 65 yards and a touchdown, and the Vikings led 17-0. It was 20 to 10 Minnesota in the fourth quarter, less than three minutes to play. Bledsoe rolling right and finds Leroy Thompson in the end zone for a five yard touchdown. 20 to 17. A Matt Barr field goal sent its overtime in OT. Bledsoe 15 yards to Kevin Turner for the sudden death victory. And the Vikings fall to seven and three. The Patriots are four and six and Drew Bledsoe a record setting quarterback today in attempts and completions NFL records. And Will McDonough talked with Drew Bledsoe after the game. Here we go. Drew, you're down 20 to 3 at the half. What did Parcell say to you, and what did you do in the second half? Well, he just, at, at halftime, we kind of got together, and he just asked us, he, he said, How far are you going to let him push you? You know, I mean, how much are you going to take um, before you start hitting back? And, uh, and uh, I guess it kind of got through to us. I don't know. You were struggling the last uh, couple of weeks. You hadn't scored a touchdown in 10 quarters. This has yeah. to be some kind of justification for you personally. Well, it, it feels good. Uh, you know, personally, to have a good game uh, from the standpoint of I feel like, you know, in the, in the past few weeks, I've let the team down a little bit uh, with some interceptions, a little bit of ina inaccuracy and so on. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it feels good to come back and help the team win this one. Drew, thanks very much. Good luck, buddy. Thanks. Drew Bledsoe is thrown for 3,031 yards. That is the most in the NFL so far this year. At the Meadowlands, the New York Giants fell to the Arizona Cardinals today. 10-9 was the final score. Kent Graham getting the start at quarterback for the Giants. He marched the Giants downfield on their opening drive. And from four yards out, hit Aaron Pierce here. And the Giants led 7-0. But it was 9-3 Giants in the fourth. Steve Berline capped a Cardinals drive, nine-yard pass. Watch Brian Reeves. Keeps his feet in the end zone, comes down with the ball. The extra point gives the Cardinals the victory over the Giants, who fall to 3-7. and seven. That's seven straight losses for the Giants. The Cardinals win it 10-9. to nine. In Cincinnati, another great day for quarterback Jeff Blake and the Bengals, who win again. They beat the Oilers 34-31. to 31. Well, he led them to victory last week. 
24-17, Houston in the fourth. Blake on the rollout. Hooks up with Carl Pickens for the second time today. A 50-yard touchdown. Blake hit on the play, hobbled off with a bruised left ankle, but he would be back. It was a 24-24 tie. Oilers quarterback Billy Joe Tolliver capped an 86-yard drive with a five-yard pass to Webster Slaughter. 31-24 Oilers. But Blake comes back. His fourth TD pass of the game, his third to Pickens, 21 yards. That's a tie game at 31. In the closing seconds, Doug Pelfrey, six field goals last week. This 40-yarder to win it. The Bengals win it. 34 to 31. Jeff Blake on the day, 23 of 33, 353 yards and four touchdowns as the Bengals go to two and eight. The Oilers are one and nine. And in New Orleans, the Saints come back to beat the Atlanta Falcons, 33 to 32. The Saints are four and six on the year. The Falcons are five and five. And the Cleveland Browns and the Philadelphia Eagles today. We were wondering whether or not the Browns are for real, but they go into Philadelphia and beat a pretty good team on their own turf. I think you got to give Cleveland a lot of credit. You know, they went in and they beat them with good, solid defense, good special teams, but also Mark Rippon did a good job. He had a couple turnovers, but he was very opportunistic. He took advantage. And the other team that I think you got to give a lot of credit to is San Diego. They go in and they beat a good Kansas City team in Kansas City in the rain, and they did everything they had to do to win the game. They made the plays when they had to. These two football teams are legit. They can play with anybody. All right, Mike. Our NFL halftime activities will continue. So it will be an interesting second half. At halftime, the Jets lead by three, 10 to 7. Right now, let's go back to New York and check up on the NFL with Greg Gumbel. Greg? This is the Domino's Pizza NFL Live Halftime Report, brought to you by Domino's Pizza. When it's got to be good and it's got to be now, it's got to be, got to be Domino's. And those of you who have been watching the games in Seattle, of the, the Seattle-Denver game and the Jets-Green Bay game, we welcome you back. Greg Gumbel along with Mike Ditka running down the 4 o'clock kickoff games now. We expected this game to be a high-scoring game at Candlestick. It has not been thus far. A 7-7 tie, the Cowboys and the 49ers. Emmett Smith, a 4-yard touchdown run. Steve Young, a 1-yard touchdown run. I think they're just a little tentative, or they're playing some defense out there today. Uh, I think the defenses are going to prevail. You're, you're up against two good defenses. Dallas's defense might be the best in football, and the 49ers have added a lot to their defense. They're trying to get there. I tell you what, what's happening. One thing in the game, neither of the quarterbacks are getting a lot of time to throw the ball. The pass rushes are pretty darn good. Team passing stats, San Francisco one yard passing in the first half. At Lambeau Field, the Packers trail the New York Jets at halftime by a score of 10 to 7. Mike, remember we were talking about which Jets team was going to show up today? So far, it's been the one that beat Buffalo twice. Yeah, that's right. No, who would have thought it? Really, you know, you figured the Packers are coming off a, a couple big wins the last couple weeks within the Central Division. This is a game that can put them right now, right behind the Minnesota Vikings, and they're, they're trailing in the game. I, I don't know what's going on myself. Yeah, me neither. 10-7, <laughs> Jets in the lead. The Raiders and the Rams are underway in the third quarter in Anaheim, and the Raiders lead at 14 to 7. Jeff Hostetler has thrown touchdown passes to Andrew Glover and to Rocket Ismail. And in Denver, the Broncos are leading the Seattle Seahawks by a score of 7 to nothing. Rick Meyer just one of 11 for nine yards, and he has thrown incompletions in his last 10 passing attempts. We'll send it back to Green Bay and to Denver for the second half of the games you've been watching right after these words from your local station.